This is Ron Dawson with the InfoLink HMI team. I'm making this video to show you the new features in InfoLink HMI version 6. So we've added a new ribbon interface and new icons. Looking first at the icons, we've added icons for the wizards. So we have the uh, linear gauge, angular gauge, super gauge, and all of the wizards here. Then we've also added new icons to support the new ribbon interface. So with the ribbon interface, instead of clicking, for example, project and getting a pull down menu, when you click project, the options appear horizontally in the ribbon across the top. So under project, we have save, new, open, close, run. In the configure section, we have properties, users, timers, our string table to support our language switching feature. Here we have our data logger settings. Also alarm logger, our project scripts. So on project open, while project running, on project close. Under add-ons, we have our reporting feature. With the reporting feature, you can configure CSV and DBF files and have various triggers and multiple files which get created with user-defined columns. Our scheduler lets you implement a building management system where you can define days of the week, functions happening, for example, every Monday, every Thursday, every weekend, and you can define holidays. Holidays are basically exception days to the weekly day schedule. Under database, here we can connect to a MySQL database and log data to MySQL. Note that the database does not have to be on the computer. The database can be on the internet, and it can even be part of Amazon Web Services. We've got a white paper on our website describing how to use this feature to save data to the Amazon Cloud. Under Publish, we can publish the project for use with our web server feature. In Tags, we have our Tag Groups, Tag Viewer, Replace, our Tag Spy, lets you view tag data even if the tags are not actively being used on objects in the project. So this is more of a troubleshooting tool. The next main heading is HMI Windows. Here we can make a new window, open a window, save, delete, close, duplicate, and import a window from another project. In the Properties section, this will give us the window properties. window scripts, the ability to print a window. Here we can set the zoom level for a window for development. And here we can show or hide the grid and configure the grid. The next main heading is graphics. Here's your typical drawing objects, rectangle, rounded rectangle, circle, pie, polyline, polygon, arc, and so on. We've got our text object, our multi-line text. Here's our image import, our Windows meta file import, and our animated GIF import. These icons are for the trend, real-time and historical trend, and this is for the uh, real-time and historical alarms. 
line style, line color. In the fill section, we can do a pattern fill or a gradient fill. And of course, set the colors. For text, we can change fonts, bold, italic, underline, font color, and make a text font bigger or smaller. Under Edit, you can undo. Control Z also does undo. We can cut, copy, paste. We can edit the properties of an object. Right now, the text object is selected, so I can go into the properties. We can delete, paste, and reshape a uh, polygon or polyline. Under Arrange, we can align left, align right, top, bottom, center, and we can space equal horizontal and vertical. Under Layout, we can move things up or down in Z level. We can flip supported objects horizontally and vertically, mainly bitmaps or uh, polygons or polylines. Here we can group, make group, and break group. Under animations, these icons are also new. Uh, these are for things like change color, move horizontal, move vertical, blink, and show hide. The next main heading is ActiveX. So we can bring in ActiveX controls and put them into the project. Under View, we can view the Inflink library. We can view the event log, view the Project Explorer, which is this. We can turn on or off horizontal and vertical scroll bars. We can show the status bar, and the grid is configured here. And of course, under Help, you have Help About, our license agreement, our website, and of course our help screens. So I hope you get a chance to download Inflink version 6 from kepinflink.com and try it out. I'm Ron Dawson with the Inflink HMI team. You can email me, ron at kep.com, Skype RG Dawson or call me at 732-935-1320, extension 332. Thank you for your time.